Hello guys, Willie Your Cats here, aka Necro, and I heard that there was a new e emulator for the um, Xbox One called Nestbox. Now, Nestbox was originally a, a Nintendo Entertainment System for the uh, Xbox One and Windows 10, but it suddenly got removed from the uh, Xbox Store due to, I think it was because of a violation of copyright or, or something. But anyways guys, uh, I heard and, and it, I heard that, uh, that you can play it on the web, so I'm going to show you guys how you can play um, Xbox One games. Not not Xbox One games, but Super Nintendo, but Nintendo Entertainment System games on your Xbox One, and it also works for uh, Super Nintendo, G Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and uh, Sega Genesis games as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, what you want to do is make sure you have a, uh, you make sure you created um, an Outlook account or a Microsoft account when you, with your uh, Xbox account. If you do not have a Microsoft account, then uh, go make one because. You're gonna you, you're gonna need uh, OneDrive to load up the ROMs. Now I'm not gonna tell you where to get the ROMs because of copyright reasons and uh, it's illegal, duh. So uh, you're gonna have to find out find that out for yourself. But anyways, guys, I already if you already got got you some ROMs, you are good to go. So then what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna go back to actually um I, I don't forget to add the ROMs to your uh, OneDrive. So yeah, then you're gonna go wanna go to uh, your Xbox and then enter in the following URL. Then once you type that URL in, and you get to you're gonna see a website. You're gonna wanna scroll down and you're gonna see a play button. You're gonna see a button that says play on itch.io. Click on that and then ah. Uh, so once you click on that button, you, it, a new tab is gonna pop up and it it'll take you to uh, a screen. You're gonna wanna click on that screen to start, and then you'll see a lot of static and glitchy stuff, and then you'll see a loading screen. And then you're going to want to click on that screen again when it says press A to uh, start or something like that. And then uh, you're going to load up your ROM from uh, OneDrive and you'll you'll be playing your NES games and SNES games and etc. And there you have it, folks. That's how you play SNES games, NES games, GBA games, GB, GBC games, Sega Genesis games, etc. Games on your Xbox One. Now, uh, one thing I believe is that uh, the, the emulator is a prototype, so it might not save your data. Like, one, like last night, I, when I tested this out, I, I played a little bit of Mother 1, aka Earthbound Beginnings in the West. And, uh, and, like, uh, I saved my progress, and the next time I started it up, it didn't save. So, uh, you're gonna wanna create save states of it, like I did last night on Earthbound, and the game I'm playing right now. But the developer says he'll work on a save feature when he has the time. So, until the save feature is available, you're gonna have to create save states, or it's gonna, or it's gonna delete all your freaking save files when you save, like the anti piracy method on Earthbound and some shit. But, anyways, guys, that is it on this little tutorial on how you can play, uh, retro games on your uh, Xbox One. So anyways guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or dislike if you didn't like the video and, you, and if you thought this video was fake. Oh, and I almost forgot. I, I'm not sure if this works on PS4. I don't know because I don't have a PS4. You, you might want to check it out or something. I don't know. It, it might it, or it might not work. I don't know. Go check it out. If you have a PS4 and you're watching this, go, go try, try this emulator out because I'm not sure if this works on PS4. But anyways guys, that is it on this video. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Willie Your Cats signing off and stay gold.